Welcome to Bremen District Television Movies Edition. I'm Kelly. And I'm Melissa. Let's get rolling. Almost everyone knows who Mary-Kate and Ashley are. What few people have known up until now is that there's yet another talented Olsen sister. Elizabeth Olsen's first movie, Martha Marcy May Marlene, may be nominated for an Oscar. Close friends of Mary-Kate and Ashley have told Entertainment Weekly that they are jealous of their successful younger sister. There is just a full house of talent in that Olsen household. The Hangover 2 is facing a lawsuit by a man who claims the movie stole his life story. Michael Allen Rubin says that the movie ripped off his real life experience on his Asian honeymoon vacation and the script that he wrote about the trip. Trying to prove that the universal concept of bad things happen on a wedding trip is solely Rubin's story will be a very tough case to win for Rubin. Following the death of Apple visionary Steve Jobs, Hollywood is ready to commemorate his life by bringing his story to film. The process of finding someone to cast such a big role is definitely a difficult one, considering Steve's unique background. A few of the actors being considered for his role are Kevin Spacey and Stan Tucci. Speaking of Apple, have you heard about their new proposal? Apple company representatives have recently spoken with major film studios to allow iTunes users to store content on the company servers. This would mean iTunes users would easily be able to buy and watch movies on the go by simply downloading them using the Apple software iCloud. With this, movie, with this, movies can be easily watched anytime on the go. This cloud-based movie storage is rumored to make an appearance this holiday season. Enough about Apple, let's travel to the realm of magic with Harry Potter. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 led the way at the Spike TV award show this month, winning six awards. Spike TV also presented a tribute to the series with the help of actors Daniel Radcliffe, who plays Harry Potter, and Ralph Finney's as Lord Voldemort. Daniel, on top of the film's success, won the top award of the night, The Ultimate Scream. Many people have watched the Scream Awards on Spike and have witnessed the Harry Potter tribute. Few people actually know how it was produced. 1,000 lucky Harry Potter fans have been selected to film the short tribute with Daniel Radcliffe. The chosen, the cho chosen fans have filmed the segment at a secret location in New York City. I'm sure Mary, Kate, and Ashley are jealous of them, too. Warner Brothers Pictures, who also produced Harry Potter, has announced the release date for the upcoming film, The Great Gatsby. This film, starring Leonardo DiCaprio as Jay Gatsby, is scheduled to open in theaters on Christmas 2012. The Great Gatsby also stars Tobey Maguire as Nick Carraway. Leonardo is also starring in another film with the same release date, Django, Unchanged, which puts DiCaprio in a rare position. It's a possibility that you may be able to watch the Harry Potter movies on YouTube in the near future. YouTube is in the process of making deals with about 24 channels that will stream TV-style shows and news. Nothing is set in stone yet. The official announcements will be made in about a month. Now here's news of some upcoming movies. After the sex sex of the first Thor movie, it's been decided that there, was, there will be a sequel. One problem. No director. <laughs> like either word has been that Patty Jenkins may be directing Thor 2. Jenkins has had much success in her directing career. Directing Monster, The Killing, Entourage, and Arrested Development, filming for the movie will begin next April, and Thor 2 will premiere in July 2013. I'm sure the sequel will be out of this world just like the first one. As everyone knows, October is about colder weather, darker nights, and preparation for Halloween, which means scary movies. If you, like me, you're, if you're like me, you're a wimp and can't sleep for a week and after watching anything remotely scary, well, you're in luck. This month, there is many more other movies you can choose from. Make sure you make some time in your busy October schedule to see some of, the, some of this month's movies, which include The Ides of March, Footloose, The Three Musketeers, The Rum Diary, and Puss in Boots. Guarantee you will sleep like a baby. For more information, check us out on Facebook by streaming Bremen District Television or on the web at www.bdtv228.net. For Kelly, I'm Melissa. That's a wrap.